Okay, so today I'm doing a Roblox VFX tutorial without Blender. So all you need is low character, light, and Moon Animator 2. So just open up one of them, doesn't matter. Because they'll both, be, both be installed, so. Okay, so you should click the base plate. I'm going to load in. And um, it might not look like this because you might have like a different thing. There we go. So you should leave the checkpoint. And you're going to just um, insert a part block, then change the color to a lime green. I'm gonna just gonna scale it up, so it's like a there you go. Plugins button, click load character, and you're just gonna put in your character. So I'm, I'm doing my name, not inside YouTube, not your ID, and then spawn in R15. Uh, there he is. There's two of them. Uh, and then you're gonna drag them down, put them. I've got them. One of them. Okay, so here is not outside YouTube. Here, we don't want that. So we're gonna click on the lighting, and then you're gonna go click view, and click the properties button. And then turn off the global shadows. Now you can just X out of your properties. Just click again. And then you're gonna click on the your guy, um, and then click properties again. And now you're just gonna go to the name and delete it. You're already almost done. Not really, but like, uh, <clears throat> Okay, so now you're gonna do, um, Moon animator, file, new animation, name it, literally anything you want. Click the plus button and add yourself with the rig and C-frame. So now you can just do literally any sort of animation you would like. So I'm going to be back when mine's done. Oh, but he's done. And I'll actually move these a little bit more. There we go. And now what you're going to do is you're just going to use your screenshot tool and get like a nice angle. I'm going to move my guy a little bit down. Move him a little bit, move his head a little bit down. And then I'm just going to take the smallest screenshot that I could uh, do. So here's him. Screenshot tool. And just take a, just take a, like, yeah, like that will work. Uh, your web browser. And you're going to open up Photopea. will be in the description along with the two plugins. And now what you're going to do is just, you're going to be doing this as a profile picture. Or is what, uh, yeah, you should be doing. Or you could do a, a YouTube cover. But I'm going to be doing YouTube profile. YouTube uh, p profile. So just click on that. And then you're going to paste in your dude, or your guy, or whatever, your, your character. And then you're going to click edit and free transform. Make your guy pretty reasonable size. And then you're going to click the um, magic wand, or just W. And then you're going to kind of just click it. Click on the, the green, and then click delete, or backspace. And I'll just keep doing this for, like, the rest of the image. So, like, there we go. Now we're going to make him, we're just going to scale him up a little bit more. And also, you can do control minus to zoom out. And, like, I think this looks a little pretty good. Okay, there we go. And now what you're going to do is you're just going to switch up a black. So, uh, 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 I can't talk. You're just going to switch up a background. That's, like, a blue background. You can make one yourself. Actually, I'll make one myself. So, you're just going to click this button over here. And then you're going to change that. I want to have, like, a blue color. So, you're kind of just going to bring it to, like, the your color. Let's get, like, this, like, blue. And then you're going to click B for brush. Click on the top. I put the size to a thousand. Now you're gonna go to the bottom and click the uh, paper icon to make a new layer. And now you got a background. You're gonna move the new layer, layer two, under layer one. And you got a background. <coughs> there you go. And that's your background. You don't even have to download one. You don't even have to download a background and you have one. So now what you're gonna do is you're going to get your, um, your character and you're just gonna click blending options. Click the outer glow, click normal, opacity to 100, and just add a little bit of spread and put the color that you want. So I'd have my blue. I'm going to make it a little bit darker, though. And then just kind of do that, like, a little bit. There you go. And now we're going to click the B tool again. You're going to go there and get the color that you just used for your background. And then make it a little bit darker. And then you're going to change the brush hardness to zero. Make it pretty small, like a... 100, and then you're just gonna put that. Also, like, make a new layer with the paper, and then you're just gonna kind of use that like on the character. Put it in like some like swatch, like a like this, yeah, and then put it like right here. Um, like right there, like right there, pretty good. And now you're gonna click the overlay, and boom, now your character has like a blue or whatever color it is, and then put the opacity down to like a good number, like kind of 69 actually works splat anything that'll fill up the image um 
like, uh, like this, yeah. You need your grudge, and then you're gonna, whatever it is, paste it in, and you're gonna click it from, you're gonna make it go from normal to screen. And then you might have to delete the background with the W. And now you have your, like, grudge, kind of like, you could do this with, like, a paint, too, the paint background. And it looks kind of cool. So I'll, I'll be back when, like, this, when this is done. Effects and here looks before them, and then here's what looks after them. It's a lot better. I tried to find a paint, a paint splatter, but I could not. So yeah. You're gonna add your text for your guy. So I'm just gonna have not outside, and then I'm gonna make it a little, a pretty, a little bigger. And then you could, and uh, there you go. Pretty good. And then just put it. At, there you go. And then you're gonna click the warp button and put this at arc. Put it like a. 12 degree bend. There you go. Not outside. Actually, uh, yeah, that looks pretty good. And now you're going to click the um, gradient overlay and make a, a gradient out of your, like, main colors. Mine are, like, blue. And then I'll put, like, a way lighter blue right there. And then I'll make it a little bit of a darker blue. Looks pretty cool. There we go. And now you're going to click the stroke and make it, like, nine something like that just click outer glow and it should and then uh make it a white and then just add something like that there you go make it look like something cool i don't think this is enough of a gradient so i'm just gonna put this as white um i'm actually gonna add another one and put that yeah there we go. okay there we go now we have a nice looking gradient and there you go. That's a pretty easy gradient. I'll show you another uh, one I made yesterday. Oh, here it is. And I just added, so like the overlay effects really matter because I think this one looks better because of the overlay effects. Like, you can kind of see in the background, I added like a little bit of, I searched up a, a one. So yeah, the overlay effects really matter. So like I would, honestly, if I were you, I would spend way more time finding overlay effects and like paint splatters, like palm trees in the back, like hills in the background. So yeah, that is all for today's video. I'll see you in the next one, and bye guys.